we have here a very very interesting question based on the concept of function but this is a very useful question in life day to day life you know uh, we know about the temperature measurement uh, we have so many different skills for measuring and uh, we mostly you know use degree celsius and degree fahrenheit in united states and uh, in american countries i have seen people using degree fahrenheit as a temperature measurement but in uh, Asian country like in India, we use degree Celsius for temperature measurement. So uh, here is a relationship, you know, a function uh, related to the conversion between the degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. So let me first read the question. It's it's going to be very useful in our day to day life. All right. So it's better to learn it uh, even more seriously. OK, so let me read the question. The function T, which maps the temperature in degree Celsius into the temperature in degree Fahrenheit is defined by. OK, this is our function. And then find one t0 t28 t minus 10 and the value of c when tc is 212 okay so let me first write our function tc equals to 9 over 5c plus 32 all right so here we have a machine you know that converts our degree celsius into degree fahrenheit all right so from here you're going to put temperature in celsius and here you'll get output as a Fahrenheit, right? So uh, if I'm going to put C, then I'm going to get 9 by 5 C plus 32. If I'm going to put anything, let's say X, then I'll get 9 by 5 X plus 32, right? So this is the scenario. And now I'm going to put here 0, all right? So what is the uh, what is the value in degree Fahrenheit if the uh, temperature in degree Celsius scale is 0, all right? So that time it's going to be 9 over 5 times c will be replaced by 0 plus 32 and this whole thing turns to 0 and then 32 so the degree fahrenheit will show the 32 reading at the same time when the degree celsius scale will show 0 0 reading all right so next one is 28 so if degree celsius is showing uh 28 reading then what will be the reading in uh in degree fahrenheit all right 9 by 5 times 28 plus 32 cool I have to use calculator for the faster okay so it's 9 over 5 times 28 plus 32 that's 82.4 right so 82.4 so if the Celsius scale is showing the reading of 28 degree then the Fahrenheit scale will show the same time 82.4 reading all right and the third one is T of minus 10 t of minus 10 9 over 5 times minus 10 plus 32 oh my god that's so much less temperature uh, maybe european uh, northern european people feel very very easy uh, even like in canadian you know canada or any other country anyways so 5 times 2 9 times 2 that is minus 18 plus 32 and we're getting very straight 12 and 2 14 right so 14 oh my god so minus 10 degrees celsius is equals to 14 degree fahrenheit the fourth one is uh, a little different the value of c when tc is 212 so if the fahrenheit degree you know is uh, 212 all right yeah tc as we know that's 9 over 5c plus 32 and that's equals to 212 so already we are given the temperature in fahrenheit here that is 212 so what will be the equivalent temperature in degree celsius all right now we have a conversion so it's very simple you just do a uh, normal 32 times 5 normal calculation over 5 2 1 2 and then further 9 c and 5 times 2 that is 10 carry over 1 5 times 3 that's 160 and this 2 1 2 will multiply by 5 so it will be 1012 5 to 60 all right 1060 all right so further 9c will be now 1060 minus 160 that's going to be 900 and c will be now 900 divided by 9 that's going to be 100 all right so 100 celsius is equals to 212 fahrenheit hmm cool all right that's that's nice 100 degrees celsius equals to 212 uh degree fahrenheit and i'm giving you a task now tell me what will be the equivalent temperature in degree Celsius and the same temperature in degree Fahrenheit, all right? You just try to find out, like the same reading, both of the uh, scale will show, degree Celsius also and degree Fahrenheit also. And you just tell me how much you're going to get, all right?